Start seated in your chair, resting against the back. Let your head go directly forward and then tuck your chin straight back. Try to focus on your head moving forward and backward and not letting it go up and down. If you need to cue yourself, push your fingers against your chin to give some input to go straight back. If you look like you are nodding yes and no in the mirror, you are doing it incorrectly. This exercise is great to prevent a forward head posture that could potentially cause neck pain. Start seated in your chair, leaning back against the chair with your arms up and hands at the side of your head. Lean back as if you were looking at the ceiling and feel a stretch in your mid back. This is a great exercise to improve thoracic extension and maintain an upright posture. As a variation, you can cross your arms and once again, lean back against your chair. You should focus on trying to lean back only with your mid back and avoid bending in your low back or neck. Try to keep your head stationary and feel the movement coming from your mid back. Start in a seated position with your back away from the chair. Bring one hand up to your head and slowly lean your body to the opposite side. Then return to the starting upright position, focusing on contracting your abdominals to return to upright. As a variation, you can perform this with your hand at your side and using it to feel the contraction of your abdominals. You can also add weight to the arm that's hanging down at your side, such as a kettlebell, a gallon of milk, any free weights you have around the house, or anything heavy that you can hold in one hand. Once you finish on this side, you'll switch to the other side and perform the same thing. Start seated in a chair with your back away from the backrest. Bring your shoulders back and squeeze both of your shoulder blades together. As you squeeze, pause for a brief hold as you feel your muscles contract. Relax your shoulders and repeat. Avoid elevating your shoulders into a shrug position and focus on going straight back. As you bring your shoulders back, you should feel the contraction in your middle trap right here. This is a great exercise to not only strengthen your mid back, but also prevent tightness that could be occurring in your chest. As an alternative, you can bend your elbows to 90 degrees, tuck them into your side, and once again, pull your elbows straight back. Imagine pinching an object in the middle of your back between your shoulder blades. Return to the starting position and repeat. The seated trunk derotation exercise helps to build core stability in the Grit Freedom Chair. Seated at the edge of your seat, grasp the TheraBand firmly. Rotate from the spine rather than from the shoulder. Follow the TheraBand with your gaze as you move through the full range of motion. Begin seated with your back against your chair. Raise your arms overhead so your elbows are at your side and your hands are straight in the air. Bring your hands directly behind you, bending at your elbows. Your elbows should bend to about 90 degrees before you push your hands back towards the ceiling. Try to keep your shoulders stable and only allow movement at the elbows. Focus on contraction of your triceps as you push to the ceiling. Once you can perform this with no weight, you may add a weight, such as a kettlebell, a gallon of milk, a backpack with books, or anything with weight you can easily grasp with both hands. Perform the exercise the same way, making sure your shoulders are stable and you're only bending at the elbows. Now pause the video here and complete the exercise routine. 